What's up, guys? Today we have a special guest, a Steppen ambassador. He's going to tell us a little bit about the game. We're kind of going to talk about some stuff like why people are playing this, why they're getting involved, and we're really just going to kind of dive in deep today and just have a cool, fun conversation. Uh, K Train, why don't you just tell us a little bit about yourself and kind of how you got involved in Steppen? Yeah, so uh, my name is K Train. I'm USA. I'm one of the four USA ambassadors. Uh, for step and I, I was the first one but now we've got uh, some more and I think we might be getting uh, some more down the road um, so yeah I found uh, I found Stepin back in October I saw that they won uh, the Solana ignition hackathon and um, from there on I pretty much like hopped in the discord and started chatting it up and kind of getting roles and uh, you know kind of seeing what the community was like I, I had like a checklist of you know, things I needed a project to have in order for me to really put my time and energy in and, and step and checked, checked all those boxes. So uh, it started in October and, and, and now I'm here, USA ambassador and, and yeah. Oh, that's awesome, man. So we, we say this all the time in our, on our channel and how important it is to be in projects early and that's where the most opportunity is. And I feel like I've done it well sometimes. I was very late to step in, and I feel like I've been in crypto. I'm in these communities a lot. So I, I'm super late. I missed kind of like the biggest earning opportunity in this, but I still love this project so much that I got in. Can you tell us a little bit, how, like what were those checklist things? Like how, how do you find these good projects early and get involved? Yeah, so... Um... I mean, the, the checklist is long, but like what really stood out to me about Stepin, the co-founders, they hop in the Discord and start talking with people right away. They do an AMA every Saturday night, Saturday night for them, where, you know, I, I, I invested in a lot of early projects and something to me was like, I want a team that doesn't take days off. Right. I mean, sure. Holidays, whatever. Yeah. But like my standards were high and this team, you know, Jerry and Jan, the co-founders every Saturday night AMA. So that really stood out to me. Also like their vision of wanting to bring non crypto people over like to crypto. And I mean, as you know, they've done that and we can get into that more, but that really stood out. And then also that's like, hard to do though. I, they, yeah, yeah, they're doing it. But like, okay, so I was really looking for a game to get early in, a game to invest in. And I noticed a lot of them were like, you know, you had to really be a gamer and I'm not a gamer. And I saw Steppen was just a move to earn. <laughs> like all you got to do is walk, jog, or run. Anybody can do that. I mean, you know, almost anybody. And, and so I was just like, man, this is genius. If, if they can get this to work, like th th it's, it's a genius idea. It's a good idea for, for like lifestyle and the co-founders had everything that I was looking for. Yeah. I mean, I think one of the hard things too, is like how to separate this from, from other projects that are doing something similar or tried to do this in the past. And I think you nailed it with your first criteria and really it's the team. At the end of the day, you have to put your trust in something or someone. Uh, and, you know, it's not always going to be a perfect formula to figuring it out. You got to go with your gut sometimes when it comes to the team. You got to actually get in there and spend some time and actually hear these people talk, um, you know, because it, you won't know. You you have to find out for yourself. And and once I listened to, to Jan talk, even it was one AMA, I went hard on this game the next day. I didn't DCA in nothing. I went all in with the max investment that I was going to put in right away because, I knew he, he was answering all the questions without the greed behind what he was, you know, like what he's saying, like this, this is something that they want us to be around long term. And that's something that I noticed. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think people trying to bring in non-crypto people uh, are familiar to the space is necessarily an easy task. I feel like a lot of people have tried to do that. There's been a lot of hype around projects trying to do that and they all fail because there's no user base. This is different. How do you feel like how many people that you know that have got their first like crypto wallets because of this app? 
Man, I, I ran a poll on my Twitter. Uh, I think about 500 people answered, and it was 75% of those people said that this was their first crypto wallet. Um, I mean, all of my friends, I, I don't wow. have crypto. I don't have in real life crypto friends. And now the ones that are in Steppen, what's cool about this, they still don't consider themselves crypto people because it's not wow. really crypto. You're just running, getting you know a token, and then you convert it to USDC, like it's, you really don't have to be a crypto person to even do step in. You just have now your own crypto wallet. So, I mean, they're converting them in our eyes because we know crypto, but in their eyes, they're just running and getting paid. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Uh, I, I just don't, I, what, okay, sorry. Another thing, though, that I see that's really important, you kind of said it there, is the whole USDC thing. How many projects have you been involved in where like, it's so hard to like cash out? You have to go through this many hoops, send to this wallet, blah, 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 blah. That's one of the first, that was on my, on my list for criteria of investing in this well. Once I knew I could earn a token, a na their native token, and instantly convert that to Solana and or USDC within a wa an app on my iPhone, like game changer mobile wallet so, they did the mobile wallet like that that's yeah. huge that they did that you just do the trade right there and yeah i know there's other projects out there where you kind of have to stake your coins or mm -hmm. or there's some kind of like um you know releasing period day one for me december 20th i went and did the three energy run right away usdc put it right into my coinbase and i was just like did that really happen? Like it's that quick. And when I onboard new people, I tell them like, you can get your money. I mean, you kind of got to wait for your, whatever fiat off ramp you're using, you know, some of them take a couple of days, but yeah, you can get it in your bank the day of sometimes if, if you have the right off ramp, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it is amazing that, that they have built that. And it's, it's been five months of it already. And other projects are still trying to figure out yeah. how to do that. I don't want to touch on this too long because I, I touched on this on the uh, on, a, in, on another interview, but um, sustainability for something like this, right? I mean, uh, it, the profits right now, even after the dump, I would say still are pretty crazy. Um, when you're talking ROI in 30 days, which I think is is very very good. Uh, will it always be like that? Um, what, what kind of what kind of sustained numbers do you think we can get once we do have? you know, all the users, I don't know how many that, what's your projection on possible users for this project as well? I'm, that, I would be curious to know your answer on that. Everybody in the world. <laughs> okay. Why not? Right. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. That's a long ways down the road. Sustainability is an interesting topic to me because we asked this question. Yeah. But is it sustainable? Like, does it does it have to be sustainable for like ever you know not everything is sustainable you know we get jobs that are short term we get you know we do a lot of things that aren't sustainable but we still do them because we get stuff out of them if you look right. at stefan only as a money thing you're gonna start asking those questions is it sustainable you know can i keep putting money in and keep getting money out I know that it's going to work today and I know it's going to work tomorrow. Well, it should work tomorrow, but like, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at, at, at the co-founders. They have planned out years of this. They have lists of what could go wrong, you know, from really bad to not that bad. And then they have all the answers for it. Like they are so prepared. Every, every problem that comes up, they tackle it right on and they do it in the public too. If it's something they mess up, they talk about it. So sustainability, like I don't question it. I, I think it's going to continue. Now the, the, the money right now is pretty big, even after you said, you know, the market, but I heard you, you know, I think it was when you guys were talking to Ben, you said, yeah, I'm making 800 a day. But even if I was making like 20, I would still do it. And I think that's important. Yeah. Because like, once you're into stepping, you kind of forget about your daily earnings as US dollar. 
right? Like you, you start to play the game and you start to get, you know, hooked into the game. So I, I think like, even if it does I have go to down, stop myself from playing the game. I have to like be a smart investor and stop myself. That's how a good job that they've done. It's crazy. Yeah, exactly. But, so the but speak yeah. speak I, while 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 you're while you're saying this, I still still want to keep going. But I, I categorize it and kind of when I send you like what we want to talk about today, I categorize it into like three different kind of groups of people. Um or three categories. And one is like the people that are here for just the monetary reason. I think that is a group of people that definitely exist and they're going to have a different kind of strategy, right? Um, they don't really care about getting fit. Maybe they do eventually, like maybe they get tricked into realizing like this is really good activity for them every day. But I think a lot of people, some people are going to be here just for the money. And some people on our channel are probably that way as well. And they're looking at this as purely an investment. And that's okay, right? Then we have group number two. Group number two is people that are definitely doing it for the possible financial gains, but they also enjoy the gamification of this and the fitness side of it. Then one question I have to you is, and this is something I'm not sure about yet, but I, th I think I know the answer. Number three is, will people play this game just for fun, just for the clout of building up their shoes? Or or is it like an app like Strava where they're they're showing off their their, their runs, um, will people end up just doing this for fun? I think those are the three type of people. If we have all those three people, I think the ecosystem can be sustainable because number three feeds number one and number two is like doing both in a weird, in a weird way. So um, what's your take on that? Okay, so money is the initial motivator, I believe, like, it gets us into the game, right? Probably all of us, you know, some of us might just do it for the fun part. But I think initially it's it's about the money. But but once you get into it and you start seeing the social part of it and the, the gamification and the health and stuff, it kind of it kind of switches. And you might think that you're one of those people that's there for money. But like you just said, like you had to stop yourself, you know, like then you might become one of those people that just keeps putting money in it. And, and there might be people that don't profit from this. And that's okay because they're, you know, getting that epic sneaker with all these cool looking sockets and they're showing their friends and it's a social thing. It's a show off thing. And they might yeah. not be making profit, but they're still paying for, you know, the, the fun of it, the joy of it, the health of it. Um, and so I think you're right. I think we have all those kinds of people and it helps the, the ecosystem go. And that's what's going to keep it sustainable. And people that aren't in stepping yet, I don't think they truly understand how like fun the game is. How many friends, I've made so many friends just from stepping, you know, like it, it's, it's just, addicting. it's more, it's more than money. And you don't really know that until you're like, a, I think maybe a month into it, you know, once you get that you know, fourth energy or ninth two or whatever, you're just like hooked. Yeah. I'm obsessive. So it took like two days and I was hooked. And I was <laughs> memorizing. I memorized the white paper like day one. Uh, so, it, I mean, it was just really, it's really, really addicting trying to figure out the best strategy. I, I care about efficiency. So as I do care about highly about the money, I want to make sure I'm making the most possible with my investment. A hundred percent. That's, that's my goal. But number two, I said this on my first step in video I ever made was I'm training to run a marathon now. So like I care about the fitness side of it for myself. Um, but definitely it, like I'm in that number two category where I'm, I'm going to make sure that I'm doing really good strategy to make my money, but I'm also having fun and getting fit. So it's, it's, it's like a win-win uh, for me. But question, say the rewards go way down, right? it's a lot less motivation for new users. So at that point, is it just too viral and people are wanting to get involved to compete, to, to level up shoes or to get cool shoes? Is there like, how do we get people to get involved once the rewards go down? Because I think that could be something that, you know, you might not be, why would you want to buy NFT shoes if you can't make any money with it? Maybe it's 10, 20, a hundred dollars a day like that i think that will be enough motivation for people around especially in third world countries 
but how can we how can we solve that problem how can we um get people into this community just for like the fun of it is it possible just for the fun of it i don't know it's got to be some kind of earnings it does but like i mean you're you're, you're asking a question that like that the earnings are going to go down a lot what if they don't like they haven't since jan or since yeah. december 20th you know so but let's say that they, they well do. whether it takes a year or two years or three years or four years they will 100 percent go down no doubt yeah. about it. i don't i want to make that sure that's very clear to uh you know yeah. my audience as well like this will not always be this way the, i mean right now a lot of the returns are coming from new investors coming in if that stops you'll have more selling pressure price will go down um, but then price of gmt may go up so i mean you're still very early i still think we're early don't get me wrong i think earnings i think anyone that's getting involved now should have no problem ROIing. That's what I believe. But this won't be like this forever. Um, but it will be. It could be a really good project for several years, really long time. I I strongly yeah. believe that. Yeah. So check this out. Like, uh, yeah, it's 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 definitely not going to stay at, you know, eight hundred dollars a day. That's that's crazy. It's going to go down. But when Jerry and Jan made this, they made it as if it's a small country. They used to always talk about the economics of small countries. If you're going to build a small country, you know, initially you got to have money coming in, but once you have this country that has a self-sustainable ecosystem, money just bounces back and forth from the small guy to the big guy. And they're like, you know, the game, they add stuff in there. You try to upgrade a gem and it explodes and you lose all the money. And now it goes into that pool. Like they have all these, kind of fun things for maybe the bigger whale to play and then that money goes in so i think i think it's possible i mean i that's the biggest question about stepping if there's no new people coming yeah. in if there's no new money coming in can they sustain that can they keep the money going back and forth you know they have to get people i don't know if hooked is the right word that might be a negative word but they have to get people to want to stay in this country that they made and to keep that money in there. Yeah. And that's a big, I mean, they've done well so far, but that is a really, really hard thing to do. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're on it. You get what I'm saying though? Like how I, I think it's possible. Yeah, we can I hundred percent get it. Let, let me give you three things that I think like, I think I was a little bit negative on that because I just wanted to make it clear that you know, it won't always be amazing gains because getting in early is just a huge value. And that's why we're here now. But there's a few things that they could do. I mean, uh, one, once, a, once you have a couple million, you know, subscribers, there's a there's chance for big sponsor deals, which could be put into rewards, right? That's a possibility. Will it be enough? I don't know, maybe. Um, number two, this may be less likely, but you could even have grants for fitness or health partnerships with health insurance companies where you use your step and app and they reward you. Um, that could be very huge and offer enough to make it worth it, right? Uh, number three, I think I, like hype, celebrities I, or fitness, like big fitness brands or people that are, are doing this that have the best sneakers and they, they have custom sneakers. So, I mean, I think it, it could get there, um, you know, because we already have a big sneaker community in the physical world. You know, why not Why not have that 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 hype beast feeling uh in a more digital nft sense so i think there is opportunity there will they end up pulling that off that's probably the biggest question because i think they nail everything else uh it's just like when is a tipping point um for when people will, will start doing this just for the fun of it just to show off to their friends that they're fit they have a cool nft and they're making a little bit of money yeah, I, I think there's like a, a big group of us that would like even continue to play if there were, you know, very small earnings just because like it is fun. But I mean, that's that's a great point. I'm so excited to see. I always ask I always ask people like, what's stuff going to be like in six months, a year? Like, you know, I can't wait to see them bring in ideas of, you know, health insurance companies or big names or big brands. Like, I think the world is is starting to see step in and some people are kind of thinking like why didn't we think of this before almost like we're a lot of the channels that taught me about crypto and 
just investing in general, always say, find something that is disrupting an industry. And to me, yeah. Stepin is disrupting industries. We got people now walking to work. Like, yep. you know, like I, I got rid of a car because now I'm in the city. I don't need to, I don't need to drive and I get, you know, GST for walking. So we're disrupting that, disrupting the fitness industry. A lot of people go to the gym for cardio. And why do cardio in the gym if you can do it outside with Stefan? So there's there's just so much more potential. And yeah, we're super early. It's not going to be like this always. But uh, I'm so excited to see the team deal with these problems that can happen. Yeah. Well, I mean, Web3 and blockchain is making this all possible. I feel like these are not necessarily new ideas. It's just almost been nearly impossible to execute i think building their their core people early on and that's why they're rewarding so much to these people that are you know becoming the spokesperson and the missionaries of step in now that are the are the users right um so rewarding those people uh is very very important um we've seen other big crypto projects do that um as well and they end up succeeding uh so yeah i mean it, it's definitely it's interesting it's funny you say that too is like you know, running an hour a day uh, gets very uh, tiring. Like now I'm like, man, or not even tiring. It's like a tedious task to make sure you dedicate an hour every day. So now I'm like trying to hack it. I'm like, maybe I should just run to the studio, run to the office. There's a shower here. So like I should just, you know, 30 minutes run here and a 30 minute run home. It's like a hack like it's, and it cuts out my transit time. So I'm always trying to figure out how to hack my time. And that, that's just you know, one of the cool things that Stepin makes you, forces you to kind of do and, and get outside. So love that. So cool. Uh, let's see. Anything else you want to touch on here? I'm trying to think. Yeah, uh, I, I can ask you something real quick. Um, you said like running a day. Do you have a runner then? Sneaker? I do. Yeah. yeah. Brutal. Do you wish you would have got a jogger? Because I always recommend people to get joggers, even if they're big runners, because running for, you know, 45 minutes or an hour, I don't care who you are. Like, that's yeah. got to get tiring every day, right? I mean, I worked I worked up to it. I only started with three shoes, you know? Um, so it allowed me to get that, like, initial training in. Um, you know, but then I had to go through, like, the knees and stuff and kind of working through that, just making sure my recovery is really good. But... In order to, like, I'm at a good point now, like, if I, I can run, it's just a matter of, uh, I don't know, it, I don't know, I lost my train of thought, but uh, I'm at a good point now with, with the, the an hour, I think that's okay, because I need to run that much in order to, like, train for a marathon anyways, if I was to do, like, 20 energy or something like that, like, I'm definitely looking for another shoe or a backup shoe or, like, a Lux shoe so I can do like a, a rest day on a luck shoe or something. Yeah. Um, that's kind of my strategy like with that I mean, because, you know, taking care of your health is very important. And that is one thing I, I worry about like <laughs> for this app too, like people hurting themselves because they are so want to make that money. And it's something that you have to be really careful about. Yeah. And um, Jan and Jerry, the co-founders, they, they talk about that a lot. You know, they, a lot of people want to do like step in competitions who can run the most or the fastest. And they've mentioned that they don't really want to do that because when you're earning money, you're really going to push yourself and it's good to push yourself, but we don't want people getting hurt. Like, you know, be, you know, for a dollar, like it, it's just not, it's, it's not worth it. And, you know, I had to get new shoes and like, I'm, you know, stretching a little bit i should stretch probably a little more but yeah man it's it's uh yeah it's fun to see you know i started with a trainer and then i went jogger and now uh since the gmt earnings coming out i got i got a sneaker that's got four uh comfort sockets but it's a runner so uh, i'm gonna have to get cooking pretty soon <laughs> nice that's okay you built up to it though so that'd be good i i'm i'm trying i only have a common runner that I mean, a common jogger, that would be good for the comfort stuff. But I I, I haven't really put too much into it yet. I, I, I could also convert my one shoe if they... I have a theory. I think that they'll allow you to reallocate points when that comes out. Um, you know, you'll burn to be able to do that. I think... I I don't know. That's just a theory. I don't know if you know any more information on that. Yeah, they, they mentioned that you can... Well, I think you're going to be able to burn GMT to, to move your points around. But also you can change base yeah. points by burning sneakers. That'll be 
eventually. I don't know when. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, so I, the whole GMT thing, I think, is a, a good... Uh, that's going to be a good thing to cover. It's probably some content that I'll try to work on once that starts getting closer to coming out, you know. Um, so maybe we can revisit that on a future video where we can do some real strategy for the people that are involved. Uh, I've been talking about this for a couple weeks now on this channel, and um, I know a lot of people that actually have, have started from uh, from this. So now, like, at first the community was just wondering what it was. Now they're actually getting involved. So I feel like we can talk a little deeper on, on some of that stuff. So excited for that. Um, definitely making this one of the core pillars uh for now because i love this project so much on this channel so yeah. um you know appreciate you and your wisdom and and also just spreading the word and the positivity you know for people to just get outside and and uh, get and learn about this stuff you know it's awesome yeah i mean uh i'm not an outdoors person i hate the rain and i'm in portland oregon and i'm out in the rain for an hour every day <laughs> so like it's, I mean, it is, it's changed my life. You know, I, I do my best, uh, thinking when I'm, when I'm out there doing a walk or a jog and it's, you know, I do it in the morning. It's, it's almost like a meditation, you know, for an hour. And it's just like, yeah. man, you really start to see how, how it changes you. Like, I don't want Stefan to go away, man. I'll miss the social stuff, the game no. stuff and the health stuff, like the money, I'll find money somewhere else. But, uh, yeah, Stefan, man, it's, it's amazing to me. Yeah, the, well, what you just said there is it's huge. Number one thing you could do while you go on a run, you either you can just meditate and be in your own headspace, which I do half the time. Uh, the other half, I'm listening to a podcast or I'm learning more about the game or I'm listening to something that betters me as a person. So it's like the mental like health and the fitness health, like everything growing at one time, super amazing. I love it. I can't wait to see this project succeed even more. Uh, K-Train, where can people find you um, if they want to check you out on social media or Discord or, or what? Yeah, so my main my main channel is uh, Twitter, and that's at K-Train USA underscore Steppen. Um, my Instagram and Discord is also the same, but Twitter is uh, what I use the most. Um, I run a Twitter space. It's called Steppen Daily. That's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. So best way yeah twitter and um i try to respond to like as many people as i can uh i have a contest going on there right now because i just hit four thousand followers so uh it's, it's a fun little nice. it's it's been a fun ride man it's, it's really cool awesome dude all right well i'll drop those links in the description below so if you guys want to check out what he's doing definitely join those spaces and and join the community one of the the healthiest best communities in crypto for sure all right guys we'll see you next time on meta money all right guys actually we just Kept talking about stepping. Uh, so here, enjoy this bonus footage at the end of the video. I mean, are you like a you a thirty shoe guy? You're you're basically whale in this now, right? No, man, I got I I got bills to pay. I don't I got I play conservatively, but uh, yeah, I have thirty shoes. Um, I like to lend them out to friends for free. I don't charge them. I know some people do, but like, I don't. I, I mean, they you know that's bad for the game, and like they're my close friends, so. Um, I lend them out and then, and then, uh, as my friends make enough and they can earn, you know, enough to buy theirs, I take them back. But, uh, once the, I think once the scrolls start hit, I'll probably take all of them back and have 30 in my account. Cool. Cool. Yeah. I just kind of did something similar. Like, um, I, I did charge them though. I didn't, I didn't charge them an amount, <laughs> but just basically gave them three shoes and like said, you know, Hey, like we'll, we'll, we'll split this. You have no risk up front kind of thing, you know? Um, yeah, actually, because uh, cause I got them involved told, and they wouldn't have done it. So, yeah, I told one of my friends, uh, I'll send you a couple of shoes, but I'm going to send you my, uh, the GMT earner and you got to level it up. That's the deal. You got to spend the money to level it up to 30 and I'll let you, you know, borrow these shoes. <laughs> That's cool. That's smart. So, That's smart. Cause that, that it's a lot of big time suck. Yeah, so uh, I guess I got a question for you. I was, um, let's see, it was in April that uh, I was in Miami, Solana, Miami, and like a, a few of you guys were down there. I know DZ was down there. And I was like writing in your guys' comments. I was going to give you guys, one of you guys a shoe. You know, if I saw like one of one of these the big guys in your group, I was going to give you guys a shoe. And it seems like it took quite a long time for like the YouTube uh, crypto community to get on board with Stefan, like, 
I, I don't know what took so long. Did you guys just not hear about it? Or was it, were you just, is it, obviously it's a too good, to, it sounds too good to be true type thing. But like, I thought you guys would get in sooner. No, it would have been great. Would have loved to meet you then. <laughs> um, yeah. No, but um, honestly, bro, when not, you're in it so thick sometimes. No, no, I totally get you. It's a really good question. Sometimes I feel like when I'm in this space so deep, I'm only focused on getting out like content. It doesn't give me often time to really do that deep research on new stuff. Um, yeah. The reason I found Stepin was one day at the office, I like I, I shut everything down. I said, I need to just go find out what some new projects are. And I just made a list of like 15 projects and Stepin was on there. And then it stood out to me and I was like, holy crap. Uh, and then I then I saw that it's like starting to be trending. And like then I started seeing everything popping up. I'm like, oh, my God, this is ridiculous. And then I had the interview with Token Metrics guys the other day. They've been in since january and yeah, they're like close they, they usually tell us they usually tell us some gems and stuff like ahead of the game and i still still didn't get nothing so i i, I <laughs> i'm a little salty but i'm happy to be here now yeah well like um you know because it started in all the other countries before the usa i was on the moder the discord moderator team i was the only usa member on the discord moderator team for like two months and then I got the USA ambassador role and everybody was like, K train, what's up with the USA? Like, we're not getting any, you know, no, nobody's hopping on. And I'm like, I saw it mentioned on like a Friday episode. Uh, I think Ben said something about Ponzi step in GMT. And I was like, okay, here we go. The words out there, it's negative right now, but the words out there, I told everybody like, it's coming, like, hang on. Cause once the USA gets a whole, I mean, I, I feel like everybody wants in now. My activation codes go like that. It did. Well, that did die down though recently, right? I feel like last, this last week. Did it? Maybe, well, maybe uh, a lot of people just kind of left the crypto space until things get, get better. Yeah. I mean, oh, I don't know. I even went, I even went on the discord and I just saw like, I remember me trying myself trying to get in. I, I didn't have any special <laughs> access. I just was on the Discord trying to get those codes copy and paste from the activation code sharing. I went in there, I think, yesterday or the day before, and it was just like code, 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 code. All codes, not people like begging for codes. So I think we might wow. have reached a little bit of a a time now where it might not be as hard to get in. I still get the comments every once in a while, but not like I did two weeks ago. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you need to go or anything, but, um, I was thinking like, you know how, when the market goes down, if you're in a project, a lot of people like say, okay, I'm out, you know, the earnings are going down. My, my NFT isn't worth as much. I'm out. I haven't seen or heard of anybody that's been in stepping for a week leave. People might be taking GST out and USDC out. But I haven't seen anybody leave. Have you? Because that would be, that's really big if. Personally, no, but I think they did leave. I think a lot of people did. Um, and that's only because the market, I saw the market go down to like nine Solana. Well, for a floor shoe or 9.5 when Solana was so low. So I do think some people panic sold. Um, but no one that I know, I mean, there might've been people, I think if anyone panic sold, it was people that maybe have gotten recently or something. Um, and people that aren't used to crypto markets. So you may have people that are not used to big volatile swings that, oh, this, like as soon as the price goes down, they're like, I knew this was a scam, sell it, get half my money back. Um, so I do, I do think that did happen to an extent, but definitely not like, I think the people that are, I, I was surprised though, I will say on a positive note, the Discord seemed to be fairly positive during the dip. Um, now that can sometimes just be a first dip kind of feeling like, oh, it'll come back kind of mentality. Um, but overall, the reason I like this project so much is the toxicity that you get in other communities when when uh, price dumps or the, the network goes down or Solana breaks or, you know, like all this kind of stuff is really, really high. But because people are like getting fit and have a clear mind, they're not as toxic in chat. And a toxic chat 
will kill a project because any new person coming into research, they're like, oh, Fuck they're it. saying bad things. So that is, I think, why this project will survive. Because when things do get bad, I think the community, for the most part, the majority will stay, will stay strong. So Yeah, so, so is, this a, is this a good thing or a bad thing? I called my friend that I got involved into the project. I, I, once Bitcoin did its, you know, 29 or whatever, I called her and, and you know, GMT and GST were down too. And I called her and said, hey, uh, you know, just, just checking in, you know, because uh, Bitcoin is down and the market's down. And she said, well, why do I care? I don't know anything about Bitcoin or, you know, the market. And she's like, I'm just trying to get to nine shoes. One GST equals one GST right now. And this is the non-crypto user. Like she really doesn't know anything about Bitcoin. And right now she's just trying to level it up and, it, you know, to get, or to get more shoes to the energy. And she actually, right before I got on, sent me a video. She got two common twins and one of them was uncommon inside. She was like almost crying. But anyway, so like, I think we have a lot of That's users awesome. that are these non-crypto people that don't really like they still know they're going to get some money as long as GST, you know, is above a dollar or whatever it is. And they don't pay attention to the markets. And I, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah, no, I think it's a good thing. I think it's good for the project um, for sure. Uh, I Yeah, 100 percent. It's it's only like that's just showing that they're doing a good job at gamifying it. And then people are, are not caring as much. Um, you know, about the money side of things once they, the more involved that they get, which I think is good. I think that's very good. But I mean, the other people, I would say, get an Excel spreadsheet and track every single penny, right? Because that's just smart business advice. But then I still, but I know it's like any ecosystem. Like we said earlier, mm -hmm. you have yeah. group one, you have group two, and you have group three. Group three that are here for just fun are feeding group one that are only there for the money. And group two is enjoying the best of both worlds. When you can have that, and you successfully accomplish that, then the ecosystem will be fine. So you're going to have those people that spend thousands of dollars, hopefully, on this game or any. This is for any play to earn game, anything. You have to have the people that come in and only spend. You have to come in. You have the only the people that only suck, and suck money out of it, it, the ecosystem, and then you have the people that are kind of like playing the game, and they're still making some money. You know, so it's that it's that balance that we have to find. That's how we'll find several good play to earn projects as they come out in the future so i would say keep your eye on that uh does this project does this game appeal to the general public if the answer is no then it's probably going to fail and you should probably just think about taking profits and getting out or not getting in to begin with all right man this is cool i like this is huge for me really like uh, i really appreciate you bringing me on and stuff this was fun and i hope we can do it again and uh, hopefully we got some good stuff out of there i don't, I don't really know <laughs> Cool. Thanks, dude. This was really fun. Uh, we'll definitely have to uh, chat it up another time, man. Appreciate you uh, coming on the show. Right on, man. Thanks a lot.